What is going on ladies and gents welcome to collectors gone digital my name is josh and on today's episode i figured with everybody heading over to new york we should cover the most exclusive comic-con and decon pieces that you can get in vv secondary market so with that being said we are talking about a lot of artists in today's episode so without further ado sit back relax and enjoy so first up on today's list is going to be the green ghost bear and this is going to be created by luke shway who's a los angeles based artist He's going to be known for his distinctive style, which often blends cute and cuddly characters with darker and thought-provoking themes. And this particular series is going to be based on one of his characters created for his four-panel webcomics. So it explores themes of death, life, and lactose and alcohol intolerance. Now something interesting to note here, the green one is actually going to be the most common in the series, yet the most scarce in the secondary market. The red one is going to be the rarest in the set, but comes in second place. So the green one is going to have 12 remaining of 1,888, whereas the red one, 17 remains of 888. So next on the list, we're going to have an entire series by Tara McPherson. All four pieces are going to be on the right-hand side here. So she combines elements of pop surrealism, lowbrow art, and a focus on the emotional and psychological aspects of her subjects. Her work often features dreamlike imagery, where their art characterized by its use of vivid, often pastel colors. And if you guys can't tell already, many of her pieces depict otherworldly or alluring female characters who often appear introspective or mysterious. So the rarest one in the set is going to be the one on the far right there. There's 666 editions, but all four pieces within this set have only 10 to 13 editions in the secondary market. Next up, we're going to have the Creeping Dero from Jermaine Rogers. So the term Dero is an acronym for Destructive, Evil, Remotely Operated, or Dissociative, Exposed, Repress Operators. I don't know which one it stands for, but one or the other. Uh, and it refers to a concept that is part of an urban legend. So his characters embody a sense of decay, chaos, and the darker aspects of human existence. And the Creeping Dero series exemplifies Jermaine Rogers' ability to blend social commentary, symbolism, and imaginative, often unsettling imagery. Now, I forgot to put the numbers on the right-hand side there, but of 1,111 total editions minted, there are only going to be 13 remaining. So next up, we're going to have Brian Viveros with his Just Us series. So Brian is known for his distinctive and provocative style, which often features powerful women. Now these females are often depicted with a cigarette in their hand or some other stylized element like the helmet uh, that often extrude confidence in a form of confrontational attitude. He uses intricate details, dramatic lighting, and his muted color palette adds to the dreamlike quality of his art. So despite the black and white one having a larger edition size, it is going to be the scarcest one of the two. There are going to be 11 remaining in the secondary market of 1,266. So next up, we got the one and only Mysterio. So the character's real name is Quentin Beck, and he's a master illusionist, special effects artist, and a stuntman. So if you're not too familiar with the character, he's known for using his skills and special effects and illusion to commit crimes and create elaborate hoax. He remains one of Spider-Man's most iconic and enduring adversaries, and of the 1,644 total editions, there's only 15 remaining. Moving on, we got another artist on the platform, Hosen Dan. The Hosen Dan is a collaborative husband and wife artist team, Ozu and Dan Kitchens. Their art often combines elements of pop culture, nature, and science fiction. So they draw from a diverse range of influences, including traditional Japanese art, contemporary pop culture, and environmental themes. So both pieces are going to be quite scarce in the market. I think the better known one of the two is going to be the one on the left hand side here. Hence the reason why there's only 12 remaining of 3,666. And then the cherry blossom piece is going to have 11 pieces remaining of 1,266. Next on the list, we got the Heroes Edition Decon mascot. So this piece was designed by an artist named Scott Tolson, and he actually has other pieces on the platform as well. 
Now the character, who's known as Vincent, has evolved over decons many years. So every decon event comes a new brand, and Vincent evolves to match the theme each year. Now there are going to be many variants of the mascot on the platform now, but this one in particular is going to have 10 remaining of 666. We're now going to talk about the boneless skateboard by Lincoln Design. And this might catch some people off guard, but this is going to be the scarcest skateboard on the platform. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe that purple airdrop one is. I didn't look at that one. But anyways, Lincoln Design is a brand design and creative agency based in Vancouver, Canada. Now, they have worked with some very large names. Um, companies like Nike, Mattel, Disney, Google, Hot Wheels, Universal, Hasbro, Adidas, 20th Century Fox. And that's just to name a few in their portfolio. And as I mentioned, I believe this is the scarcest skateboard on Vivi. Um, the airdrop might be more scarce, but there are six editions remaining of 550. And even the gold skateboards have more posted in the market despite a lower edition size. I think the scarcest gold one has seven in the market with an edition size of 250. Next, uh, we talked about Sket1 a couple times on the channel. But for those who do not know, he is a renowned American artist known for his work in the fields of designer toys, urban vinyl, and graffiti art. Now this particular series is Sket's creative spin on graffiti toys with a dark stylized vision. Why do all these artists like dark twists to their stuff? And then the Greeper series are skeletal figures with hoods or caps, reminiscent of traditional urban graffiti characters that you commonly see in street art. Now, just like the Ghost Bear series, this one is not the scarcest in the set. Uh, the black and gold one is with 200 and I want to say 66 editions. But the black and white one you guys are looking at on screen has 666 and only 10 remain. Next up, we got a piece called Witch Tricks created by Camille Rose Garcia. So she's going to be another artist whose work often features dark and intricate imagery. Uh, filled with surreal landscapes, whimsical creatures, and complex narratives. She draws inspiration from fairy tales, mythology, and vintage children's stories, but her interpretations are often dark, edgy, and laden with symbolism. I'm telling you, all these artists are dark. Now this piece is going to be the only one in its set, and of the 666 total editions minted, there's only 8 that remain. And last but not least... We have the Illazillas. So this is another collaborative artistic project between two American artists, Alex Pardee and Dave Correa. Now, can you guys guess what they're known for? They're best known for their distinctive and often dark and surreal style. What is going on? Like, I didn't even notice this when I was putting the episode together. If you guys want to drop something on Vivi, just create something that's dark. But their work spans across various media, including painting, illustrations, and limited edition prints. The blue piece is going to be the rarest in its set. There's 111 editions, and of those, only 7 remain. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to conclude today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. Those are going to be 11 Comic-Con or Decon exclusive collectibles that are scarce in VB secondary market. Now we're heading into a pretty exciting week. Lots happening with the project. Might I also add that now is a time to keep an eye on the app because uh, they might be doing some secret drops. So just a heads up with that. But if you guys are as excited as me, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see in a future episode. As for our next, I'll catch you then.